Now, taqwa is an amazing word in Arabic because it comes from a very small group of words which have weak radicals on both ends, waqiyah, and its root meaning is to protect or defend. And wiqaya is the word that the Arabs use for prevention, to prevent something from happening. So the Arabs say a penny of prevention is better than a pound of treatment. So it's more intelligent to prevent illness than to wait until it happens and then have to suffer treatment. What he's recommending here to us is taqwa al-ilah, alladhi turja marahimuhu, the one who we desire his graces, the compassion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al-wahid al-ahad al-kashafi lil-kurabi, the unique, the single, the remover of all kalam. So that's what he's saying. This is the foundation of all advice. And this is from the Quran directly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qu anfuskum wa ahlikum nara. Save yourselves. Same root word. Qu save yourselves and save your families from the fire. Now, how do you do that? I mean, how do you save your families? First of all, the way you save yourself, and that's important because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Qu anfusukum. Now, we usually think Allah save us, but Allah is telling us, save yourself. I mean, it's very interesting if you think about that. We usually think of Allah save us, but Allah is saying to us, save yourselves. Now, why would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be saying that to us? Because only Allah can save us in reality. I mean, the Prophet sallallahu said that no one would get into paradise because of his actions. And they said, what about you, Ya Rasulullah? What about not even you, O Messenger of God? And he said, not even me unless Allah immersed me in His mercy. Now that doesn't mean that this is simply you go to paradise and you go to hell. I mean, that's not the way it works. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, save yourselves and your families from the hellfire, what He is telling us is, I've given you all of the means for salvation and you have to use them because if you don't, you haven't allowed me to save you. And this is the idea, if you go to a physician and the physician gives you a medication, why did you go to the physician? To be cured. What did you think you were going to get from the physician? A cure. Well, he gave you a cure, but it wasn't what you expected. You thought he was going to give you a pill and you just had to take it every morning and you would spontaneously get better. But he told you you had to start exercising every day. He told you you had to stop eating fats. He told you you had to give up sugar. He told you you couldn't smoke anymore. So he gave you a list of things to do. And then six months later you come back and nothing's changed. In fact, things are worse. And then the doctor says, what happened? Didn't you take my advice? I found it so difficult. Well, here's the choice. Don't take my advice and keep getting worse and then see what's more difficult, losing your health completely or taking my advice. And the aql is the one who thinks things through. He goes to the end. <laughs> Don't they reflect about the Qur'an in a deep way?